really hoping I can do this. <laughs> uh, and not be as bad with Kamachi. Alright, hey there, people of the internet world, it's Kibatsu, and welcome back to Let's Play, The Genius of Sephiroth. As you can see, we switched the party out a bit, and actually leveled up a bit to actually, hopefully, get ready for this fight. In theory, I should have everything set up just right for this fight, but with how I handle Kamachi, I'm kind of scared, honestly. Again, this really should not be that hard to fight, but I guess we'll see, won't we? I have to appreciate Yuka's art here. It really does not look nice. Gumbado! Medicine! Wow, that is... That is the most innocent smile of Yuka I have ever seen. I mean, I know for a fact that to say this and whatever is all fanon and stuff, but... I, I, I don't know, I just don't see Yuka being a very happy person like that. I'm just scared of her whenever she smiles, I guess. But, like, look at her! It looks so innocent! And Medicine Smile does, too. Ah, uh, yeah, and you know, she's saying the mist isn't really harmful to her. feel the same pain? I don't know much about medicine, but that... Okay. Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> wow, medicine eyes look bug-eyed. Lady Yuka, please don't murder us. If you're the culprit, just come peacefully. And we promise we'll leave your sunflowers alone? We'll grow more sunflowers. Let's. How about that? We'll grow more sunflowers for you. Please don't give me that smile. Please do not give it. Give me that smile. That might be too much flour for her. Uh oh. <laughs> Yuka, we'll teach her a lesson for you. Please do not teach her a lesson. Anything, uh, uh, um, um, I 
think everyone has the same idea. Raymu, you're a bitch. Miss Sue? Oh, Miss Sue is her doll, I guess. Never heard of that. But either way, it is boss time! Oh, I probably didn't set the party up right. Well, hopefully this party setup will be just fine either way. Alright, so having this setup hopefully in the right sense, we are going to go ahead and resist the crap out of Earth and bomb the crap out of her with lightning. Main reason being is that with her being a sunflower and such, all of her attacks are mainly focused on Earth based. So, countering that with a lot of lightning and stuff, surely we're gonna have quite a bit of good time with lightning. There's also the fact that poison is in the matter of this as well. Because of medicine, we have to worry about poison. But, she can't do too much damage to us if she doesn't have enough Earth with her. So, Medicine and Yuka are both focusing on Earth, so with that, you just have to really focus on Lightning. And just... just bomb the crap out of them. If it's heavy in favor of Lightning, and with Lightning damage up and all about, magic up and all that, we should not have any problems with this fight. Not one problem, one bit. But we still need to make sure that everyone is still okay, just so that we're not, uh, you know, completely screwed. This would mean a defense up as well, since I'm to guess all their attacks are based off physical attacks as well. If not, then we might be in trouble. Oh yeah, how about that double cast? Uh, the thing about double casting, um, well, wait, before I gotta explain something else, Pacholi has her growth fully in one of her magic trees, so in that sense, she has the ability to double cast if the element is in their favor. And with double casting, if you're using a bomb, it doesn't do much. It doesn't cost a bomb, honestly. Like. Let me see if I can explain this properly. When you use a bomb, you use a bomb, no matter what. But, if you double cast it, you don't use a second bomb. So you use the spell twice with one bomb. A very useful thing, I wanna say. Alright, uh... Yeah, you do that. You do that. Marissa, you do that. The medicine. Just so we're not gonna die here. And just in case, I heal us up. I'm not fully convinced we're gonna die, but you never know. Also, I gotta say before I wanted to say before she died, the background is so damn good. I mean, look at the background with medicine there. She's covered around in her poison down at the bottom, while Yuka top was on top of her flower, which. To me, that was pretty awesome of them. That's a nice touch. Gotta say. But either way, all we have left now is medicine. And with our new buffs and everything, we should not have a problem handling this by this point. So have at it. She is not weak to lightning, though, so... You're not gonna have the best of time in the world. But this should not be as so hard that you cannot handle this at this point. Besides, lightning is mainly used to counter Yuka and just beat the crap out of her. So, there you go. Uh, you know what? You have you have been going. Why don't you try and do that? Who's gonna get the kill? Not Sonic. Not Alice. Wow, really? Okay, that was unexpected. But, what can you do? 
it looks like Marissa's getting the kill. And that would be boss done. I technically didn't have the party set up right, so this wasn't the best setup in the world. But, hey, I'll take it, because first try, and we had a good time, I guess. Yeah, everyone's about like 22, 24, so... whole time we were going around thinking it was death, and then that happens? What the hell? Immortal. Hey. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> well, there's only really two people in the world that you can use the term immortal. And it's not Moku, because she's with us right now. The only other person is Horai. Kaguya Horizon, I believe her name is. I can't really say for sure they're the culprits, but it's our only lead at this point, so let's go, I guess. Please don't kill us, Yoka. Well, for being here, we got Sunshine Lunch. Yeah, in case you guys are wondering. That was supposed to be generally the idea right there. With everyone in the mid and rear, their magic is up, so... Bleh. Well, it doesn't matter, I guess. Since, like I said, it worked out that well, so... Yeah. Anyway, there's the ante right there. Let's go see a Q. Let's see if she has anything interesting to say. Oh yeah. While grinding, I guess I killed over a thousand yokai. In commemoration, I suppose. And those are all, um, like, accessories and stuff, so bleh. That really isn't that hard to fight, so... She doesn't have anything else. It's 1439, so let's waste some time doing something else, I guess. We won't be going to Yente just yet, but in the meantime, there's a couple of other things that we can do. Oh, nothing here. Your uselessness is still very useless. Before we head on into the... Iente, let's check around a little bit and take a quick visit to some places. Everything's so peaceful here. What?
Why did she have a book in between her... What? Uh... Ah, uh, you know what? Let's just leave it at that and just let her sleep, I guess. In the meantime, though, we got a formation out of that, I guess. It's like more like, uh, Kappa Camouflage, but it's just a little closer together. I don't think it'll change that. I don't think they're, like, all in the middle, so you can't use that, that marionette thing. But, it's in a formation to resist instant death, so, it's useful. All the usefulness. Alright, we stopped by some other places, got some weapons and stuff, but, um... Hmm, is there anything else to do at the moment? Well, not really... I think I'm going to make this a short episode, because I really don't want to do Iente. Oh, Iente. Uh, <laughs> um, it, um, I'm scared of this place, honestly. It really is not the greatest place in the world, for a couple of reasons. But there is something else about this place. If you didn't get Moku early... This is the point where you actually get Moku. There is a cut, different cutscene if you actually do get her beforehand. And yeah, it's like two different cutscenes. Um, one where you get your Moku and one where you get Moku here. So let's see the other one. As you see, Moku come, just comes in with us this time. Yeah, by that point, Moku, um, would actually say something different. Or, Mo or Moku would come in right then and there and join your party. Um, I might put in a cutscene there somewhere, or I might link it as another thing, but, uh, for the moment, I'm blind. Just like an imperishable knight! Oh, uh, yeah, neither he wasn't there for that, was she? And this is why this one is a little more annoying than the others.
as, as it seems, Iente is after us. Or, not after us, but they know we're after her. And them and such. So... Hmm. Them being the culprits... Who knows? It's not set in stone yet, but... We do know a couple of things, though. This place is annoying. And we'll go over that next time, because it's pretty annoying, like I said. I can't get over that. <laughs> so... I guess we'll leave it till next time. So with that said, this is Gibatu, and until we explore Yente, goodbye to you. Later.